Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In today's video, I would like to have a go at the very first Frosty Friday Snowflake Challenge. And the topic of this challenge is how to load uh, data from an S3 bucket. Now, if you're interested just in the solution and you want to have a quick overview of, of how to load data from an S3 bucket, please go to the timestamp and go directly uh, to, to that portion of the video. Before that, I would like to show you how I struggled to get there and the things that I learned along the way. So mm, yeah, choose what's best for you and let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is to go to frostyfriday.org and under recent posts, we're gonna go to week one basic. And here we have just four rows, four lines of text that give us the assignment of the challenge. So our benevolent employer, Forcey Friday Inc., has an S3 bucket that is filled with CSV data dumps. So our role is to create an external stage in Snowflake and load the CSV files directly from that stage into a table. And here we have the S3 bucket's URI. So the very first thing I did was to Google load S3 Snowflake. And the reason why I did that is because Snowflake actually has very good documentation. So I was able to quickly find a tutorial to help me uh, bulk loads from Amazon S3 using copy. And I followed the first three steps of this tutorial. So the very first step is create a file format object. And here we see that uh, we need in our case a CSV file format and we have a piece of code that we can copy. So that's what I did. First, we need to create and replace a file format, give it a name, type, file delimiter, and if we want, skip header. So I go ahead and copy this into my worksheet and change the file format name if I want to. In this case, I called it format frosty one. The second step is to create a named stage object. And once again, we are going to go ahead and copy and paste the snippet of code we find on this page. So we are going to create uh, or replace stage, a stage and then give it a name. And yes, so I'm going to copy it into my sheet, change the stage name to mimic the first one. So it's going to be called something like stage frosty one and file format. I'm going to pick the one that I just created and then I'm just going to change the URL into the one given in the Frosty Friday page. So there we go. I'm going to copy it and paste it into the first snippet and then click run. Okay, our third step is to copy data into a target table. So this was a step that I struggled with the most. So first of all, I need to learn how to create a table. So it's a simple statement, create table. And then I need to tell Snowflake which columns to add, how many of them and what data type they are. So those were the questions I had in my head. How do I create a table that has the right amount of columns, the right data type? And do I need to look into the S3 bucket to know which table, uh, like what type of table to create. So I try to just randomly create a table with a random amount of columns with random names. So I said uh, create a replace table frosty one. And then I open parenthesis and I added a couple of columns. So open parenthesis, I named the first column ID. And I said, okay, give it a string data type and then give me a second column called age and randomly <laughs> give it a barcar data type. And yeah, I wanted to see, well, of course it's possible to create this table. So when I run it, it's successful. So now let's see if I'm gonna be able to copy the data into this table. Okay, so I went back to the step three and I copied the snippet and pasted it into my sheet. So the snippet says copy into 
then we need to give the name of our table. In this case, our table is called table frosty one. And then we need to give the name of the stage. And remember when you use a stage always to leave the at sign. Okay, and then we run this part of the code. And indeed, Snowflake returns an error because the amount of uh, columns we have in the table we created doesn't match the amount of columns in the S3 bucket. So what we actually need to do is to query the metadata. So again, if we go back to the Snowflake documentation, we can find how to query metadata. And I actually ended up again copying a snippet of the code and again pasting it back into my worksheet. So something to know is that if we want to query columns, we need to use the dollar sign. So here we have, for instance, S, uh, sorry, dollar sign one, dollar sign two, and we can go on dollar sign three and four. And again, we have metadata, dollar sign file name, and so on. So this is the result. And here is how I learned that actually there was just one column. So I went back and I created another table and I just added one column. I realized that the name of the column is not important because um, there you go, I create uh, one column called ID and I couldn't figure out the names of the columns in the, S in the CSV uh, because I actually skipped the header. Uh, but it wasn't important. It, this worked anyways. So that's great. Now we have indeed loaded the data into our table. So the data is now in our table in Snowflake. And the last thing I want to do is to query it and just check what's inside these columns finally. So I'm going to say select all from our newly created table, table frosty one, and run the code. And there we go. Our column is now called ID and it says something like you got it right. Congratulations. And that's the end of our first Frosty Friday. Now, for those of you that just want a quick summary, uh, this section is for you guys. So how do we load data from an S3 bucket? So first of all, I'm going <laughs> to name my worksheet and then write create or replace file format and give it a name. So Format Frosty one is the name that I chose. I'm going to give it a type and the type is CSV. Thirdly, I'm going to say the uh, field delimiter is so there's also a default, but in this case, I, I chose a specific field delimiter. And finally, if I want to, I can skip the first uh, row. So the, skip the header again. This is not necessary. So if I run this, I'm going to just create the file format, which is our first step. Step two, I'm going to create the stage. So I'm going to create a stage called CSV stage frosty one. And again, I'm going to use the file format that I just created, which is called format frosty one. And I'm going to need the URL from the Frosty Friday challenge. So this is to tell Snowflake where the, where the data is located in the S3 bucket. There we go. Okay. So now if we run this, we will have created our stage. Perfect. Now, third step, I recommend querying the metadata. So this is because this way we are going to know at least how many columns are in our CSV files. So we're going to select metadata file name, metadata file row number, and then let's give it, let's look for a couple of columns. So dollar sign one, dollar sign two, and dollar sign three. And this will tell me how many columns are there. I could keep going, but let's just try with three for now. And we're going to say from our stage. Okay. So now we run this. 
Of course, we need to run it with the at sign first, otherwise it's not going to work. There you go, now it works. Nice, now we see that we have just one column because only dollar sign one is filled in. Okay, so now we know that we need to create a table that has just one column. So now we're going to say create or replace table and give it a name, so table frosty one. And then within parentheses, we're going to say column one, which is the name of our first column, and then give it varchar uh, data type because it's the safest, <laughs> uh, because it can contain the most types of data. And there we go. We have created our table. Then we can finally go ahead and load the data from our CSV uh, in the S3 bucket and that was actually in our stage into our table. So this is the core of our exercise. We are copying the data into our table from the stage. And if we run this, we have three successful loads. And finally, just to double check, we can select all from our table table frosty one and if we run this we have our result thank you guys for watching this video and see you next month